Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am going back to college very, very soon. And obviously I need a lot of things, but one of the things I really needed was clothes. So lately I've been doing a lot of shopping, but I've been trying to avoid the usual places. So I have been going thrifting instead. Just a little disclaimer. I am aware that thrifting should really be left to the people that like really need to thrift. Well, I really need to find different places in order to shop at. Please help me out if you guys know of any other stores. I've been trying to do the research, but honestly, like I'm a little a little stressed about where to get clothes that aren't made in an unethical way for a reasonable price. I just wanted to do that little disclaimer because I am aware that it is harmful to be taking like clothes that really could be going through the people that really need them and incidentally raising the prices of the thrifted clothes that used to be like way more affordable for those people that can't afford to shop anywhere else. So please help me out if you know of any better places to shop. Be mindful with how you shop. Be mindful of all of the repercussions of your actions basically. That's what I'm saying. Without further ado, let's just get right into the stuff that I bought. The first thing I really got was this uh, white pair of pants. If I were to call them anything, it'd be like skiing pants, like it's skiing um, slash workout pants kind of material. And it is incredibly cute. Um, it's very puffy, but it will basically go with anything and dress it up. I can dress it down. And I don't know, I just really like it as this sort of um, statement piece. I really enjoy it because I don't have any other pair of white pants. And this way I can have white pants to not be, you know, afraid that I'll be stained and don't be no way to clean them. The next thing I got were these jeans. These jeans are actually like bootleg jeans or like bell bottom jeans, I guess you can say. They're low rise, but I don't mind it too much because it fits me, like it fits my waist really well. It's kind of rare for me to find a pair of jeans or like pants that fit my butt as well as my waist because my waist cinches in smaller so you have to, you know, that weird belt gap that you sometimes get with pants. That happens sometimes, but not with this one. This one actually fits me pretty well and it comes with belt bottoms, which I think will really go with this pair of shoes that I also got while thrifting. And I'll just make a really cute outfit piece. I've been getting more into bell bottoms lately for some reason. I honestly can't explain to you guys why because I thought that was some shit I left in like elementary school back when like we didn't really know what the fashion was. But you yeah, know, I actually really like the way this looks on me. I feel like it'll make a good college statement piece as well. And also it's dark wash and I don't have any dark wash jeans. So yeah, the next thing I got this high rise pair of jeans. These are high-waisted actually, which is really lucky because I feel like it's weird to find a natural pair of high-waisted jeans that fit you, but these do. And I really, really like them. They're also dark wash, which is good. But the main reason I got them wasn't to wear them as a pair of jeans. They would work as a pair of jeans. I got them in order to turn them into shorts. So I made a little Sharpie line on them to cut them. I actually really like them and they fit me pretty well. And I feel like they'll make a really cute pair of shorts. And I'm also trying to find some way to do something with the leftover material. Maybe I'll make it into like a wrap top or something. You know, it'll be really, it'll be really cool. There's a lot I can do with this. These are the last pair of pants that I got. These were a slight disappointment, but I think I can still do something with it. They fit me a little bit off in the waist, like I said before. I have a tinier waist and my butt is a little out there. So I really do need to find pants that really fit me. And these ones, unfortunately, don't fit me that well, but the good thing is that I can do something as a belt in order to wear it and I can cover it up with my baggy shirts because I have a lot of baggy t-shirts. <laughs> so I can definitely wear something on top of this. And it is still like a really decent color. So I will probably wear this for as long as I can and just, I don't know, work out the kinks, figure it out, all the other stuff. It's just that this is the one, one let down. But it's okay, it's okay. Your brothers and sisters will pick up on the weight that you left behind. So anyway, next thing is the shirts that I got. Uh, let's just start with this one. So I got this turtleneck blouse, I guess you could say. It's really thick material, so I can definitely wear it in the fall if I wanted to underneath a jacket or something, but I can also wear it in kind of like that weird season right before fall, but also like not quite the end of summer yet, because I definitely, I might die if I wear this in summer. But it is really cute. I really like the way this turtleneck is filled out like this. It has this cute little detail where it looks like it's being sewed in and there's this like slight ribbon at the end, so I really like it. And the color is really flattering on me, so I'm excited to wear this shirt and just, you know, strut it. I like it. It's very cute. That's all I gotta say. Uh, this next shirt I got was this graphic tee. 
that honestly is pretty simple, but I did like the way the colors looked. And it says no gas, no brakes. Don't don't ask me why, especially since I still only barely know how to drive, so the irony, but I do like the colors and I know that I can definitely get some good wear out of this. I could do a little outfit. So yeah, got this t-shirt and then I got this other t-shirt that is really, really soft, like ridiculously soft. Like imagine how Monet the Pooh would feel. Exact, exactly. Yeah, I got this sort of mango colored t-shirt. It's really, really comfortable, which is the main reason I got it, but it's also a baggy t-shirt. And I have this thing for baggy t-shirts. So I got it and I don't think I regret it. And I just, I really like it. Okay, next things, next. I got some polo shirts. <laughs> First one is this. Um, it's a slightly oversized woman's polo shirt, which I really like because I plan on cropping this. So it's a bit of a cropped up and it is just really cute colors it's white and pink now i feel like pink and purples and like those kind of colors are starting to grow on me a little bit more and this one's just ridiculously cute like i feel like i'm going to like a country club or something wearing this shirt and i'm just really excited for it it'll be really easy to crop because it's lines like it's a striped shirt so yeah i'm really excited for this shirt i know i'm gonna get a lot of use out of this one so the next thing i got was this polo shirt another one <laughs> and this one's really bad on me but i just really like the colors of it and i'm gonna crop this one too is this one's also striped so it'll be really easy to just like crop it and find a nice little shape to get it so i'm really excited for that and i don't know i just really like the colors it's really old school kind of reminds me of the 80s a bit look at this color look at the way this navy blue pops against all of these pastel colors it's just uh it smells like genius it smells like fashion These are the shorts, and this is one of the shirts. Okay, in case y'all couldn't see how much I snapped with this. Exactly. This is the last polo that I got. It is a purple one, like this. I wear this and I feel like I'm like wearing a school uniform, but that is completely fine to me. It's just a basic polo. I just really like the color of it and I like the fact that there's this white detailing on like the collar. I liked it. I like it a lot. There's not really much else to say. It's a shirt with a collar and it makes me feel all fancy and scholarly. So yeah, this next shirt I got is, I don't really know what to call this exactly, but it almost reminds me of the shirts you'd see like white dresses wear or something and it's really cute the color looks a little like this hopefully you can see that pretty well and i just really like the red i feel like i don't have that many red like tops and red is my favorite color so i felt the need to get more and this one's just really cute it fits me like really well and i know i can wear this in multiple ways whether it's just like wearing it down i'm buttoned i'm tied up so it's more of a tightly cinched top i just really like it i know i can get a lot of use out of this literally just on camera look at how vibrant this shit is this one is sort of a cardigan it's really giving sunday morning at church kind of thing it comes with frills you can't really see it properly but you'll see it more in the try on and it does have a way you can clip it on in the front but I plan on kind of like cutting out a portion at the bottom and I have this button I can use so I'm gonna sew in a button and then it'll fit more like a I guess like a more chic I guess you could say cardigan and that's kind of the plan I have pray for me I'm gonna watch some best dress videos and figure out how to sew in a new button and have a new hole be in there so yeah that's what I plan on doing I'm really excited for it because look at the color I know it'll be so cute the last top I got is this really cute shirts that I normally wouldn't get. It kind of gives 90s, you know, like black girl in the 90s. It has a nice little sleeve. It's a really unique sleeve that I don't have in any of my other clothes, so that's why I also compelled to get it. It also has this cut where you just can see like this hole in the back and it also goes deep enough in the front that it's really just, it's, it's really cute and it almost fits like a crop top. This shirt with the bell bottoms Mm. So those are close, but I have a few more items left. I got this pair of fish earrings I don't currently have in me right now, but I'll insert a clip of it into this video. And I just think they'll be really cute and that they'll go with anything that I'm wearing, especially if I'm wearing like a simple colored top like this one that's like black or white, or even if I'm wearing a really colorful top, those earrings are a statement pair of earrings. And I just, I don't regret getting them. I also got a few scarves, including this one that I can wear over my head because when I wear my natural hair, I really like wearing scarves on on top it just makes your outfit like it brings it to the next level so i got a few scarves like this one next i got some purses literally just holding this it's so cute and i've had like purses you know like the side sling purses but i've never had like 
purses. Literally even just the sound, it sounds like, ugh. look at how cute this is. Look at how, look at how cute. Oh, oh. It's, it's doing its job. It's great. I love this. I, it smells like fashion. You, you see it, you see it. I don't have to explain this. I don't have to explain this. Moving on. Um, I got this really cute bag that honestly is giving 90s. You can also wear it and it's just like really freaking cute. It's big enough they'll fit my phone in my wallet. It's really easy to just put on your shoulder and just like keep it there. That's why I like it. can move your arm around and it's not really like in the way. And finally, probably my most uh, valued buy of this entire video. Look at this. Bask in the greatness that is these shoes. They are healed Oxfords. Let me repeat for you guys. They are healed black Oxfords. Speechless. Look look at look at that square toe. Look at that. I've been looking for shoes like this one for over a year. It was like destiny. I saw them and it called my name. And I said, I hear you. I hear you. See, this is what happens when it's a Sunday. Suddenly a thrift haul becomes a sermon. I really like these shoes. They're so cute. They are so cute. They will go with dresses. They will go with skirts. They will go with pants. They will go with shorts. They will go with everything. They will go if I'm wearing my underwear. That will not be happening, but I'm just saying poetry. These shoes are poetry. Maybe I went a little overboard explaining these pair of shoes, but I, I love them. I will wear the shit out of these shoes. And with that, we are done here. <laughs> I forgot to film an outro like a dumbass. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, you should like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my medias, which will all be linked down below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.